Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my analysis of the 2021 Melbourne Cup. You may recall that on October the 5th, I did uh, talk about the Melbourne Cup system that I was going to use this year. I used it last year also for that matter. And uh, I can't believe it, 13,500 views. So thank you to everyone uh, that's watched that video. Uh, that's an awesomely large number compared to my normal uh, number of viewers. But regardless, this particular system that I'm going to apply I've been using it over the last month as we lead up to the Melbourne Cup and uh, it's done very, very well. Caulfield Cup it picked incentivised to win and of course it won. Cox played it, picked a very elegant, which ran third. The Mooney Valley Cup came up with Luna Flair, which won the race. And then on Saturday, it picked I'm Thunderstruck to win the Golden Eagle. And that was an awesome performance from that horse to go on and win. Now, you know, there's no way you're going to... Uh, think that any system is going to come up with a 75% win rate. So it's with some trepidation that I'm going to apply the wagon wheel to the Melbourne Cup field. The reason why I call it the wagon wheel is that it came in one of those little spinner type arrangements where you shift the dial around to dial in particular numbers and on the other side of the spinner you get the answer coming out. Um, and it's that sort of thing. But what we did uh, way back 50 years ago uh, was turn it into a table and you can access uh, this table at Google Sheets. Uh, the uh, URL will be in the description below. So let's go over to the spreadsheet and have a look at what Wagon Wheel says about the Melbourne Cup for 2021. Well once we've applied all the numbers and this is a mechanical approach, there's no thinking about it. Uh, it's come up with Twilight Payment to be the winner of the race with a total of 74 points. Incentivised to run second at 72 and then Charlie Rose third at 69. A couple close up with 68 points, Spanish Mission and Floating Artist. Now, let me just mention a couple of things about the strategy and I did have to make some decisions. Uh, in the barrier section up here, it talks about a good barrier, a fair barrier or a bad barrier. And generally speaking, I use good being barriers 1 to 6, fair barriers 7 to 12, and bad barriers anything outside of barrier 12. Now, because this is a 24 horse race, you might want to change that to having like 1 to 8, and then 9 to 16, and then 17 to 24. Now, if you did that, incentivize here, rather than having a score of 5, because it did have based on my analysis, a bad barrier, it's the favorite, but having a bad barrier gets a score of five. If I rate it as having a fair barrier, then it gets a score of seven, and that brings it up alongside of Twilight Payment. So there is some subjectivity around deciding whether the barrier is a good, fair, or a bad one. Uh, in the case of class assessment, I just purely took the information that's contained within the TAB guide. Uh, at the start of every single comment for every horse, they always say whether it is uh, in the same class or whether it's up or down in class. Uh, and so something like Spanish Mission, which I did expect to rate a little bit more highly than it has, uh, TAB of rating it as being up in class because on Tuesday, the Melbourne Cup is a Group 1 race, whereas Spanish Mission's last run was in a Group 2 race over in Europe. So it's up in class. Charlie Rose is up in class because it ran in the Geelong Cup, which I think is a Group 3 race. Uh, whereas Incentivise, of course, uh, ran in the Caulfield Cup, which is a Group 1 race, so it's running in the same class. The other thing to consider here is can incentivise run out the 3,200 metres? Well, the way it looked like it was finishing in the Caulfield Cup, you'd have to think yes. But this is a purely mechanical system, and so it gets a score of zero for the distance, having not won at the distance, whereas Twilight Payment, when you look at its form, that's all it ever runs over. And so, you know, that's it. Uh, mechanical system... You know, if you give incentivize eight here, and if you give it seven there, suddenly it's miles out in front of the pack. Uh, but whatever the case, I'm thinking that the horses I've highlighted in green here are probably reasonable value bets. 
you know, based on the numbers they've got over here with a little bit of maths, just my own messing around, I've decided that uh, Twilight Payment, Charlie Rose, Floating Artist, Persan and Delphi are over the odds and uh, Incentivize is a bit thin at $2.40 as are Spanish Mission and Very Elegant. Well, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win the Melbourne Cup? I'm thinking I'm going to have a little bet on Twilight Payment, but I'm not going to be at all surprised to see Incentivize win this race reasonably comfortably. Anyway, we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching and good luck with your investments.